Hello, it's Beginning Ye 2.0, Part 2 of 15, Project Installation. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use Composer to install our Ecom website. And we're going to create our project in our IDE. So we're going to install our framework, open your command line, and change to your rev root directory. In my case, that'll be C colon hack uh, xamp hack htdocs, because htdocs is where my web root is. And then you're going to paste the following into your command line. I'll put this uh, in the notes section on the uh, YouTube video site. And then you're going to, Composer will uh, run and install the Yee framework into a new directory named Yeecom. Then we're going to create the project in our IDE. So open your IDE and create a new PHP project. And once you've done that, you're ready to code. Very, very simple, and we'll show you how to do that. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to copy and paste this command line into our command line. And we're our, we've moved over to XAMP HT docs. Okay, and it's going to create that Yecom directory right here. And it's going to be the advanced application from Yeesoft. Okay, so let's watch that work. Uh, looks like I need to check for an update to uh, Composer. But that's okay, it'll work just fine. It'll take a little while for all of this to install. And that's it right there. Okay, as you can see right here, uh, Composer created my Ecom directory in my uh, web root and loaded me up with all my uh, necessary files. So we have a back end and a front end. We take a look at those, as you can see, and the common has the config and the environments, and front end is here. Tests, vendor, Yeesoft is going to be a big one. This is Twitter Bootstrap, Swift Mailer. Uh, this is a new one. I'm not sure what that is. But there we go. So Yecom has been loaded up. So now what we need to do is come over here to our IDE and create a new project. I'm going to create a new PHP project. And it's going to be called... Ecom
we're going to I'm going to use 5.4 enable that and that should give me my new uh, settings uh, let's do this and that gives me a new file here and so you see all our back end front end all of that so we need to first thing we need to do is go to our config in our common and we'll load that up and make the changes that we need to make to our uh, database uh, which reminds me let's go ahead and uh, set up our database real quick uh, just so that we have it set up just uh, create a new database using uh, your PHP my admin which was part of our XAMPP so you can just go to admin on MySQL and it will go ahead and create this database for you and as you can see we have no tables in here and we're going to let uh, the init do that for us we just have to tell it uh, what the database is and all of that uh, when we do that and we'll do that in our next we'll work with the database and get our application running here in our next uh, part okay so part three we'll, we'll be working with the database that was it for today uh, that's pretty simple pretty quick pretty fast I hope you enjoyed it so we uh, use composer to create our ye framework in a folder in our uh, web root and then we used our IDE and created a project called yecom both uh, our so our folder yecom and all oh, that's all in our PHP and we'll we'll uh, finish up there uh, later on tomorrow or next next uh, part part three see y'all later